Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It looks like I was right again, okay? Told y'all that Drake was slowly but surely falling off, okay? Look at these sales. Chart data reported that Drake um, is going to be doing allegedly around 210 to 230 first week. Now, the Drake fans are saying, oh, well, it's a surprise drop. But at the end of the day, this is not the first time Drake has done a surprise drop album. For his album, um, if you're reading this, it's too late. He did 500K first week. That was a surprise drop. Did we forget about that? Okay. Plus all the little three songs that he used to drop every couple years. Those were surprise drops too, okay? And the Drake fans had the nerve to talk about Kung Fu Kenny, okay? Kung Fu Kenny did 300K. What is Drake's excuse? Nobody told him to release that because, you know, Beyonce was releasing music. That's why he really put it out because he didn't want to be overshined by Beyonce this summer, okay? Because it's about to be a Beyonce summer in July. Now, with that being said... Here is how Drake can save his career. One, stop the future 21 and DJ Khaled collaborations. Okay, we're done with those collaborations. Start collaborating with some females. Drake is the main rap artist that don't collaborate with the pop stars or other female rappers because he's not smashing. Let's talk about it. J. Cole did a collaboration with Bia. Future and Kendrick Lamar collaborated with Taylor Swift. Little Baby collaborated with Nicki Minaj. Drake is one of the main um, male um, rap artists that don't collaborate with any females unless he's smashing. Okay, we should run down the list. J-Lo, Rihanna, Janae Aiko. Okay, Georgia Smith, Cash Doll. I can go on. Let's talk about it. And we can't give him the benefit of the doubt when it comes to Summer Walker because allegedly him and... London on the track fell out because he DM'd Summer Walker a few years back, okay? So allegedly, London on the track don't really mess with Drake like that no more. With that being said, he also needs to call up Quentin Miller, okay? Quentin, remember, he got beat up by Meek Mill. He needs to call that man up and get some reference tracks. I think that Drake needs new writers. The people that he has writing for him... They are sending him down a dark path, okay? Um, 40 was not a producer on this album. He was like the mixer or something or the engineer for this recent project. He needs to have 40 produce his songs again, okay? Stop with the random people that you're using. And then lastly, take them braids out your head, okay? You are not a Marion. No wonder you try to do a... Mostly singing album, and it didn't work out. You are not Usher. You are not Amarion. Take them braids out. Moving on to Rolling Stone and Nicki Minaj. So Rolling Stone named Nicki Minaj's Bussin' featuring Little Baby one of the best songs so far in 2022. Okay? Now, I feel like that's still a little bit of shade because we already know Do We Have a Problem was the stronger single. Okay, and it was on the charts for like 14 weeks. So I feel like they should have added, do we have a problem? Definitely, because that was like a moment in 2022 and we go up. But I think that they only add Bussin because everybody knows that Bussin was the weaker single between do we have a problem? And so I think because, you know, Billboard got a lot of backlash in regards to their list and so did um, Rolling Stone in regards to their album list. They just added Nicki Minaj in there. I don't feel like they really wanted to add Nicki Minaj. Because at the end of the day, why didn't you have Do We Have a Problem on this list? That makes absolutely no sense. When Do We Have a Problem was a moment in 2022. And it was the most successful female rap song. It was more successful than Plan B, Bussin, um, you know, Shake It. So I don't understand why they would leave Do We Have a Problem out. But this is the problem with, you know, these publications is they have a bunch of white people running it and they don't know what the fuck they're doing.
Moving on to Megan, Tory Lanez, and Jay Prince's son. So it looks like Tory Lanez um, has been filming a music video in Houston with Jay Prince's son. And as we know, Megan Thee Stallion has issues with Jay Prince, um, not the son, but the father, and Carl Crawford. So with that being said, Tory Lanez is purposely linking up with Megan's ops. Now, here's the thing. Um, is this petty? Yes. I think that Tory Lanez, he needs to just stay out of the drama. I'm not saying that he can't collaborate with people, but I don't feel like you need to collaborate with Jay Prince's son. Jay Prince's son is not even popping musically. I think this is to spite Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, no shade. And at the end of the day, if you are innocent, that's going to be proven eventually. So I think he just needs to chill out and not worry about Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, now I know that he got people in Houston that F with him, but a lot of Megan Thee Stallion fans are not too happy about it because they feel like Houston should stand with Megan Thee Stallion, but you can't tell people who to collaborate with. Is it wrong? Yes. Um, but at the end of the day, the song is not going to do anything. I mean, Jay Prince's son is not popping musically. No shade. Moving on to Rihanna. Rihanna is facing some backlash because basically Skylar Gray um, songwriter and singer put on blast that Rihanna, um, replaced her on the song, love the way you lie. And basically what happened was she originally was supposed to be on the single and then Eminem replaced her with Rihanna because Rihanna was more famous, but originally she was supposed to be on the song. Um, and that happens all the time. So I don't really know why people are talking about this now because people get replaced by bigger stars all the time on singles. And then people are bringing up the fact that baby Rexa basically said that Rihanna cannot sing in 2017 and she did the background vocals for monster and, um, Rihanna cannot sing any high parts. Now I did hear that allegedly that Rihanna cannot sing a lot of high parts in her songs. And if you guys actually listen to Diamonds, you can hear Sia singing the backgrounds. No shade, okay? Um, but Rihanna's not necessarily known for her talent. She's known for her hits. You know what I'm saying? She's known for her fashion. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like it's necessary for these people to be talking about it. Um, Rihanna's not even making music now. So I don't understand why Skylar Gray is talking about, you know, this song in 2022, okay? Um, when did Rihanna do Love the Way You Lie in 2010? It's been over 10 years, Okay, so you got to get over it. No shade. Moving on to Chloe and Dolja Cat. So a lot of fans are asking Chloe to get Dolja Cat on the surprise remix. Okay, well, here's the thing. I think the remixes are only going to come out if the song does well. It's the same thing with Have Mercy. Have Mercy was supposed to have a remix to keep it on the charts. But what happened was you guys, the fans did not support the record enough. And that's why the remix never came out. And Megan Thee Stallion was supposed to be on the Half Mercy remix. But the label has to recoup the money they put in for the original song to even do a remix. Because at the end of the day, they still got to pay Megan for that feature. It's not like Megan would really do it for free. Because at the end of the day, she's the bigger artist. Even though Chloe is, you know, the Queen Bee's protege, she's not on the Queen Bee's level. Now, Megan would definitely do a swap with, you know, Beyonce. And allegedly, they do have other songs in the stash. We don't know if they'll ever come out. But it's the same thing with Dolja Cat. Dolja Cat is going to do a collaboration with Chloe. But would she do it for free? No, she's going to have to get paid for it because they're not on the same level to be doing those swaps. Chloe is a newer artist and she doesn't have any hits. But to me, Surprise doesn't need a remix, in my opinion. I feel like she should leave it where it is because sometimes when you do remixes, it can ruin the song. Look what happened with the Do It remix they did. Okay, Chloe and Holly. And he had all those rappers on it. 
Okay, Doja Cat, Lotto, the City Girls, and the remix was kind of trash. No shade. So I feel like it's better for them to leave it alone before they ruin it. Now, I don't think Doja Cat would ruin it, but I don't think it's going to help Chloe. Okay? Um, it might chart, you know, for a few weeks, but Chloe needs longevity singles. She needs long lasting singles, and she don't got that yet, in my opinion. So I think she should just leave it the way it is. Don't add no rappers and, you know, do the R&B thing. Anyway, sorry for the video being long. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.